What's going on everybody? Cam here from Edmunds Woodshop. In this video, we're going to be going over how to replace your key control with your emergency stop switch that's included in your accessory kit for the Ohmtech Polar. So when you first receive your Ohmtech Polar, inside should be an accessory kit or a toolbox as they have labeled. And inside that toolbox will be an emergency stop switch. Now you can choose to replace your key control if you wish. Some advantages might include if you don't wanna lose your keys or you lost your keys, or if you need to quickly turn off the power in the event of an emergency. Just to show exactly what we're replacing, this is going to be your key control. And for size reference, this is your emergency stop switch, and we'll be placing this here. There's two screws that you need to actually remove, one right here and one in the rear. And then there's also a couple wiring connectors that you have to undo prior to actually lifting this off. There's gonna be one right here for the LED strip, and there's gonna be one right underneath. So I'll show you those. So coming up to this connector right here at the LED, should just be able to tug it off. There's one. And then looking down here underneath the side, there is this one vertical line, right? And it actually connects to the switch board. So if I go under here, you can see two connectors and I just have to pull the vertical one. Okay, so that's this one right here. So if I tug on this, undo that. Now there won't be any restrictions as far as being able to pull this off. So before I lift the piece up, I just wanna show you guys, there is this door sensor right here, this little brass piece, and there's a wiring connector that I couldn't reach. So. When we lift this up, we're gonna lift it up on its side, and then we're gonna kind of pivot and place it in here. So what I did is I grabbed right here first, and then I grabbed the edge, and I'm gonna lift up one right there, grab this edge, and then lift up, and there you go. So remember what I said, I'm gonna lift it on its side, and then pivot, and just place it in there. And then I'll show you here. Here's the back side. Here's the additional wiring to the um, push button on the other side, right? So still a connector there. And then here is the door sensor with the wiring that I was telling you about that I couldn't reach. So we really don't need to disconnect those. We just need this board out of the way. What we're gonna get to is this piece right here. So this is the portion that we're actually tackling today. So I'm gonna zoom in here and show you. There is some heat shrink around the wiring connectors. Once we get this heat shrink off, we're gonna undo this collar and it should pull right out. Now, if you look at our emergency stop switch, you'll notice that it has the same collar on there and we'll pull this ring off. And this will go in from the front side through the hole right here once we get it off. All right, so you could choose to cut this heat shrink off. Just be cognizant that there's wires underneath and you don't wanna cut them. I'm gonna try and pull them off. There we go. And then you see the connectors underneath. If you can't see, this last connector is not being used, right? So when we look at the emergency stop switch, we have three prongs. The top is going to be NC for normally closed. The middle is going to be NO for normally open. And the bottom is going to be C. The green wire is on NO for normally open, and we need to swap it to NC for normally closed. The red wire is on C and will stay in the same spot. Okay, 
And then let's go ahead and pull this collar off, pull the retaining ring. And it should slide right out. So let's grab the emergency stop switch, take the collar off, take the retaining ring off. Now I slightly bent these down just because I don't have a lot of slack. Oh, that's the collar from the old one. Because I don't have a lot of slack here. So as I put this through, put the retaining ring on, and take the collar, put the collar back on. Go ahead and just get it a little, little fit, enough to where you have wiggle room if you need it. And then we're gonna zoom in here. We're gonna take the connectors. The green goes on to this last prong in C for normally closed. And red will go on to this first one, to C. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pinch these down just to make sure they're secure. Okay. And then I'm going to take the heat shrink and just slide it back on up. If you cut yours off, then don't worry about it. Just just leave it since mine's there I'm just gonna put it back on okay and then just tighten it up and there you go it's installed now all I'm gonna do is start the process of reinstallation I'm gonna take this back end and put it in first now bring the front end down and I'm gonna grab the edge and just let it click in place. So there's an LED connector and then the push button connector right here that you have to re reconnect, right? The LED light connector probably fell down in there. So you're gonna to have to pull the gantry forward and then grab the connector and then feed it through the hole so it can connect back to the, to the switch. Let's not forget about our vertical connection right here. You can see the connector's undone. Okay, looks to be in place. And then let's get the screws back in. Last thing to do is to test it for functionality. So let's make sure the switch in the rear is turned on. It is turned on and plugged in, there's no power. So just a little correction here, the laser switch should power the laser on when you pull the switch out. It works. And when you push it in, it should turn the power off. It turns off. So it works. So there you go. Installation of the emergency stop switch on your Ohm Tech Polar. Now, if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up with my future content, please give me a subscribe. But until then, we'll catch you guys later.